You may be aware that the home loan interest rates are very low and it's the right time for you to buy your first home. It's with great pleasure I'd like to introduce Guy Tano, the director of KNF Property, who's going to advise all of you about property. Good morning and welcome to our program. Good morning, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Guy, how uh, safe is to buy land off the plan? Well, the advantage of buying land off, uh, off the plan is that uh, many times, once you purchase the land and it settles, let's say, many months after, it gives you the chance to accumulate more savings. And it prepares you for the settlement of the land and also entering into a contract with a builder. Uh, you buy today's prices. Uh, the risk is that the land may not be valued at the same price you pay for it in the beginning. So when the bank goes out and does a valuation and it comes shorter, then you will not get all the money uh, for the loan and you'll be left out of pocket. Mm. Now, this is, can be very detrimental if you have not enough savings or you're very limited with your savings. It can have a big impact. And what can happen is that you may have to renounce the contract. And it does happen. I get weekly updates from land owners of parcels of land that come back onto the market because people cannot settle, either because the value has changed or because the bank has changed their criteria of lending and they are not prepared uh, for, this, for this contingency. So when you buy off the plan, it's okay. We know what the risks are. But it's also important to factor what, how to overcome these contingencies if these events should happen. That's what good planning entails. And people have to be informed about this. They have to know exactly what they're going to do if the situation verifies itself. Now, Guy, what are the elements to uh, design a, a good home? Well, there, we've bought the land. We've got our finance in order. So now it's time to, you know, uh, to, to design a home yeah. and, and, and see what we need. Now, home design is very, very important because it needs to reflect the person's lifestyle. You know, sometimes we fall in love with display homes they look nice, but is it what we really need? Um, what we need to take in, in consideration is uh, family culture, um, the way they um, live their lifestyle, um, any uh, cultural requirements for entertainment. And in the design of the home, we have to take into consideration, most important of all, the orientation of the home yeah. to make sure the house breathes. I find many homes uh, completed that the lights need to be kept on during summer. Uh, or the heating has to be on all day in winter. There's something definitely wrong with those homes. Mm. We, we tend to go to home builders, we get standard plans, we find a block of land that we can sort of afford, put the house on it, and we live an eternal winter, uh, which is wrong. It doesn't have to be that way. You've spent $450,000, $500,000 on a home, and you've got the wrong home. And the value of the home suffers also. Mm. So it's important to know up front how you can put the house on the block of land. Um, will you have enough space to entertain your friends? Um, will you be able to enjoy a family, a good family lifestyle yeah. um, with, with, with the right design? Unfortunately, many companies will charge you money if you want to change their plan. We do it for free, for example. Uh, we believe that at the end of the day, the final solution is more important than actually the sale of the, of, of, of the home or the sale of the, of the home loan. And we want to make sure that uh, the solution at the end is nearly perfect, nearly perfect. So design takes a very, very important place. We can't just skimp over it very easily. And um, we find that a well thought through plan of a house adds great value to the, to the, to the house when it's resold in the future. Most people make the mistake that they design a home thinking they will live in it forever. They don't. In Australia, um, the average ownership of a home is seven years because families grow, they shrink, the kids leave home, leave home. So after seven, eight years, we're all tossing and turning, but the house is too big to clean. What are we going to do? We buy a smaller home, we move in with the children if you're lucky. So uh, we, we change and Australia is a very good uh, uh, nation that en enables people to sell quickly and buy quickly. Yeah. So having, a, I wouldn't go past seven, ten years um, thinking they'll loan a home for more than that. Uh, so after we need a design for that period of time. 